guys and welcome to episode 5 of Blades of Glory and today we take on Bradford City but first of all let's catch up on what you've missed since we were last together first game after the Peterborough defeat was a one-all draw with Scunthorpe now we controlled this game quite a lot of the way 11 shots on target we just couldn't find that second goal and Unfortunately, uh, we drew 1-1. We took on Bristol Rovers, who had a man sent off in the first half, which kind of helped us along. But two goals in two minutes from Billy Sharp and Connor Washington secured the win. We only had three shots on target in the whole game. So we were, we were relatively lucky. Obviously, Bristol Rovers were flying high, and we just managed to nick the win. Then we secured a massive three points away to Fleetwood. Two goals again from Connor Washington. And a goal from John Fleck. Much better performance on our part. And a good, solid away result. We lost to Rochdale in the EFL Trophy. Um, much changed team, as you can see. We had George Long in goal. Uh, we made a, quite a lot of changes to the team. Because it was only the Checker Trade Trophy. And I wanted to give a couple of the squad players a chance. Then after a little bit of a break, we secured... A 2-0 win over Port Vale, who were 23rd in the table at the time. So it was vital to get three points off of them. Again, not a solid performance, but a win is a win. And finally, last time out, Kalon Lavery was the saviour. Bottom of the table, Shrewsbury. We were banging on the door. And then we managed to pick up the result. We talk about a last gasp winner from Kalon Lavery. So the ball was pumped forward, headed away, McQueen sent it to Reed, back to McQueen, Lavery into Washington, they played about with it for a second and he curled it in the bottom corner to give us the 1-0 win right in the dying seconds. So before facing Bradford, we currently find ourselves in 10th position on 22 points. Three points outside the playoffs with a long way to go. And the starting lineup for Sheffield United. In goal number 25, Simon Moore. Three, Chris Hussey. Four, John Fleck. Six, Chris Basham. Ten, Billy Sharp. Eleven, Matty Doan. Seventeen, Jordan Williams. Nineteen, Ethan Ebanks Landell. Twenty, James Wilson. Twenty nine, Connor Washington. And lastly, 32, Harry Chapman. And the Sheffield United substitutes today are... Number one, George Long. Seven, Sam McQueen. Eight, Stefan Skugel. Nine, Kalon Lavery. Fourteen, Reese Brown. Fifteen, Paul Coots. And lastly, 27, Leon Clark. So that's our team. Let's have a look at the Bradford City team for today. So you've got Colin Doyle in goal, Dieng, McArdle, Kilgallen, Knight Percival, Romales, Law, Vancelo, Perosi, Vukic and Huwulu. So they've gone for 4-4-1-1, which is why we've changed formation slightly. We've gone for a 4-2-3-1 today to try and counteract it. On the bench, they've got uh, Soltermeyer, Clark, Marshall, Ragibi, Cullen, uh, Darby and Devlin. Hopefully, we can keep that winning run going that we've been going. Obviously, we've climbed up to 10th in the table. I would really like to start hitting the playoff places soon. And we are off and underway. Bradford gets underway. It's gone straight downfield. Williams into Basham. 
bash him into end of a highlight. So thank you very much for the love and support for episode four. Um, disappointing result against Peterborough, but as you can see, we have picked up since then. Results have improved, and I am a much happier man for it. And a throw in now to Bradford. Vukic. Ball comes in. Keeper should be there. Simon Moore is there. And so far, so good in terms of players grumbling. We are playing. There's been a couple, but I've managed to stem the tide so far. We, yeah. It's going to be an interesting ride, I think, for the rest of the season. Fleck. Could be a chance for us opening up here. Matty Doan. Hussey. Fleck. Go try and find a pass if he can. Fleck again. Back to Hussey. Into Fleck. Into Washington. Finds Doan round the corner. Doan with the shot. Saved by Doyle. Tip wide. Good build up play. It's a shame it didn't lead to a goal because it was a cracking move. Corner's coming in. Who's going to get there? Nobody! Although Chris Basham is on the end of it. What's he going to do with it? Fire it back in. And Bradford can break away. And a chance for Bradford. Law. And it's nicked off way by Hussey. Basham. Basham going forward. But not entirely sure what he did there. He panicked. Majorly panicked. And Colin Doyle has got the ball now. And he's looking for about 20 players on the in the centre circle. He's out to this side for Morales. Morales. Tricky little customer. Law. Vancelo. Perosi. Into Vukic, good tackle by John Fleck. But it's gone to Morales. And Moore has got it easily. Probably should have done a bit better. It was wide open. Chapman. Percival clears it away up to Hawulu. Morales. Beats Hussey too easy. Vukic is there. Damn it. Good cross. Beat Hussey far too easily here. Whip the ball in. And we were just standing like statues. As Vukic put the ball in the net. And Bradford in front as the half time whistle approaches. And that is half time. Show a bit of desire. Gonna take Connor Washington off. Stefan Google. No. Sam McQueen is gonna come on. We're going to swap those two around. Let's see what that does. Let's just check it before we get back in. He doesn't really like playing that role. He says he can play it. Try. Oh, that'd be worse. Oh, I'll have to stay there then. Oh, he prefers the shadow striker. Let's try that. Yeah. I just wanted to get Sam McQueen on the field, really. Bit of pace, bit of youth out wide. He hadn't really done it, Connor Washington, in the first half. Kind of got lost in the midfield back one. Right, let's have a look at making a change, shall we? Another one. Uh, right, so yeah, Matty Town's going to come off. I'm going to bring Lavery on. Okay, to 
four, two, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go into automatic so it gets forward a little bit. I only have one shot on target in the first 64 minutes. We need to have a shot. <laughs> we need to have a shot. We're going to score, right? Not rocket science. Chance. Fleck with the free kick in. And a penalty. Ebanks Landell was pushed to the ground. Bradford. Appeal. But it goes in vain. And Billy Sharp has got the ball. Sharp. Can he score from the penalty spot? Yes, he can. Good boy. 1-1. One, one, back in the game. Probably not what we deserve. But, hey ho, up into ninth place. Let's see if we can kick on and get ourselves a winner. So it goes to the keeper's left. And rolls it in the bottom corner. Really sharp. Cool as you like. For the equaliser. And a route back into the game. But up until this point, we probably haven't deserved it. John Fleck has been showing the yellow card. Pick up field. Cullen. Hawulu, but that is full time. Thank goodness he blew the whistle then. One all draw. Yeah. Well, you, you say it's failing to win these matches is unacceptable. Yeah. I'm happy with, you know what, I'm happy with the draw. Coming from behind to get a draw is a lot more difficult. So we're up into ninth, back to two points, but we have played before everybody else this weekend. So there you have it, a 1-1 one, one draw with Bradford City away from home. Did we deserve it? In the end, maybe. You know, Bradford played better in the first half, we played better in the second half. So, them's the breaks, unfortunately. You've got to kill teams off, like we've learnt so many times in the past. Thank you very much for watching the episode of Blades of Glory. That was episode 5, it's done and dusted. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so. If you've liked the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to follow me on the Twitter, the Twitter is up there. That was episode 5 of Blades of Glory. I will see you for episode 6. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.